For this video I'm going to demonstrate making a voice attack profile using voice recognition only. I'll be using Voicefinger for this. Now the Voicefinger primary website has been down for several months, but it still exists on archive.org, and even the most recent one still lets you download from Mirror site. Now in this sense, the Mirror site application is held on archive.org, but it is the same application as before. I'll be making a profile for the bomb diffusal manual in Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. I've already gone through this once and noted down the title of each of the various pages, and all the other commands that I'll be needed, such as being able to go up and down by a number of pages. I will want to switch to Notepad so I can take some notes. And in preparation, I've used Windows Spy to get the coordinate of this little box, particularly the right-hand side of it, so that I can click on that press backspace a couple of times, and then enter in the page number I want to go to. A few things to note. It can help to have some music playing while you enter macros, because it will take a long time, and it might help stop you getting bored. I didn't for the video, given I was going to cut it later, but I've put some in now. There are some things you can click on by saying click before their name, and some that you can't. You'll learn which you can, which you can't, and which are intermittent. And it's important to periodically click on Done to save your profile, and right after making a difficult macro. When you decide to, if you somehow selected Cancel by accident, it will throw up a warning, giving you a chance to click No and get the right option. Mouse. East. November Hotel. Keyboard. Stop listening. I've already made this command page changing command, which I'm only using as a function that I'll call from all of the other commands. Start listening. Click other. Click windows. Mouse. Uniform hotel. Keyboard. Down one. Down two. Click OK. Mouse. North. Yankee Alpha. Yankee Alpha. Keyboard. Click Mouse. 2. OK. Click Move. Tab 3. Tab 1. 3. 5. 5. Delete 1. Tab. 1. Right 1. 8. Click OK. Mouse. South. Yankee 9. Kilo Bravo. November Bravo. 1. South. PG. QC. Keyboard. Press Control Charlie. Down one. Up two. Press Control Victor. Up one. Mouse. North. Yankee Alpha. Yankee Alpha. PB. Yankee Alpha. Keyboard. Click mouse. 2, OK. Click, click. Click OK. Click down. 1, OK. Click left. Click pause. 3, OK. Click add pause. Click OK. Press control Charlie. Down two. Tab. Down two. Paste. Click key press. Press enter. Click OK. Click OK. Click new command. Backspace. Simon Says Page. Tab 10. Paste. 
Tap one. Enter. Tab two. Eight. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Keyboard. Enter. Mouse. Yeah, it says move mouse cursor to screen coordinates. Keyboard. Click screen coordinates. Enter. Click screen coordinates. Press enter. Click application window coordinates. Click OK. Click OK. Why as page? Simon says page. Brilliant. Tab 5. Paste. Stop listening. I know the numbers from tabbing from the top text box there into the little window there with the list of commands as a result of practice. The best reason for using voice finger for this is that you can choose your coordinates and if you say them with the phonetic alphabet it has an extremely low error rate. Tab 7. Adobe. Click OK. Tab 6. Up 1. Down 1. Enter. Mouse. Q5. Keyboard. Spacebar open square bracket semicolon panel close square bracket. Delete spacebar. Click OK. Mouse. KD. Keyboard. Down 5. Right 1. Down 3. Enter. Input. Home. India. Delete 1. Tab 2. Open curly bracket. Shift C. Shift M. Shift Delta. Close curly bracket. Click OK. Mouse. South. X9. Keyboard. Click left. Click left. Click left. Click left. Click left. Click converted. Enter. Tab 2. Right 1. Left 4. I. N. P. U. T. Delete 3. Click OK. Click new command. Backspace. Microphone. Off. Press Foxtrot. Tab 10. Paste. Stop listening. The logic here is that assuming I had switched to Notepad and used Dragon, once I've finished using Dragon, I just say microphone off, which will turn off Dragon, and then switch me back to the bomb defusal application. Click new command. Backspace. Switch to Notepad. Click key press. Press control backslash. Click OK. Click pause. Click add pause. Click OK. Click other. Down three. Right one. Down three. Enter. Down five. Up one. Up one. Click OK. Click OK. Click Done. So with my windows laid out reasonably, this is roughly what it would look like in the real thing. Remove Tools Panel. Single Page View. 
wires page, batteries page, batteries reference page. Switch to notepad. Double A batteries. Delete that. AA batteries. Microphone off. Page down. Who's on first page? Who's on second page? Page down five. So it's working pretty well, actually. There is only an error if I go up and down by multiple pages. That just means that I typed in the wrong shortcut, or I need to type in some extra shortcut. But otherwise, this actually works. <laughs>